Cells are like building blocks of living things. They are very, very tiny and you'll need a microscope to see them. With a simple microscope, you get a view like this of the cell, where you can see the cell membrane, nucleus and the cytoplasm only. We'll look into three different types of cells, an animal cell, a plant cell and a bacterial cell. Here is a simple structure of animal cell, which shows that they consist of a nucleus, which controls the cell activity and contains all genetic information. A semi-permeable cell membrane, which encloses the cell and lets certain things into and out of the cell. Cytoplasm, which is a jelly-like substance where many chemical reactions take place. Ribosomes, which helps to make proteins. And mitochondrion, where a chemical reaction occurs, which releases energy the body can use. A more powerful microscope reveals more structure inside the cell. The next is a plant cell. If you see the previous picture, you'll find few similarities between the two cells, a nucleus, cell membrane, cytoplasm, ribosomes, and mitochondrion. The difference is that it has a cellular cell wall, which gives the cell a shape and protection. Chloroplasts, where a food-making process called photosynthesis occurs. A large vacuole containing cell sap. Cell sap is a liquid which acts as a storage for food and waste. This liquid also provides mechanical support. Next is the bacterial cell. This also has a cytoplasm, cell membrane, ribosomes and a cell wall. But the cell wall here, unlike the plant cell wall, is made up of protein sugar molecule. There is another protective covering called the capsule. There is a tail-like structure that sticks out called flagellum which helps the bacteria to move. Many have outgrowths called pili, which bacteria uses to attach to things. Bacteria don't have a nucleus and its genetic material, like the chromosome and plasmid, just floats in the cytoplasm. Hey guys, if you found this useful, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.